All right, today we're going to be going over how to create a trading log in Excel or Google Sheets or any kind of program like that. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So this is the trading log that I've created. I will link it in the description below. So all you have to do is go to file, make a copy, and you can create your own. So a trading log is extremely useful for a couple of reasons. One, it helps you to keep track of your trades and keep yourself honest and know exactly what's going on when you're trading. And two, it allows you to get some very useful metrics that can help you improve your trading and improve your returns. And the first one is average percentage gain of each winning trade. Now, the reason this is so important is because you need to base all your other variables off of this number. So we really can't control what our average percent gain is going to be. It just depends on how good the market is and how favorable the market is for our setup. But once we have some data and we have this number, then we can start changing things to improve our performance. So if we're getting 32% average percent gain like this, we can afford to have much larger stop losses. But let's say we're in a terrible market, kind of like we are right now, and our average gain is only around 15%. That means instead of widening our stops, we need to tighten them way down. So maybe around a 3 to 4% average percent loss. See, most people do the opposite. If they start trading bad, they'll start loosening their stops, trying to catch more trades. But that is the last thing we should be doing. We should be tightening our stops in bad environments. So now let's get into how this log works. So I've thrown some example numbers and some example trades in here just to show y'all. But first off, what you want to do is you want to put in your starting account balance up here in this box. All the rest of these are going to auto populate. So all you have to do is put in this number. So when you buy a stock, you put in the date you bought it and the ticker. You also put in how much money you spent buying that position. The next thing I like to do is put in exactly what rating I thought the stock was, what my position size was, and what my stop loss is. So all of this happens when you buy the stock. So once you have all those in, you just need to wait and put in exactly what you sold your stock for. So whether you sold in one go or two or three, this is where you would put in how much you got for each sell. Then this column auto populates how much the total was sold for, and then it spits out your profit loss in dollars and profit loss in percentage. So if we take a look at this second trade here, we can see we got stopped out. So it's our profit loss of negative 550. That was our stop loss and it matches. So as you go down through here and you're adding trades, it's going to start spitting out some data for us. So we get our batting average up here is our number of winners and numbers of losers. Obviously it's divided and you get 42.9% batting average. And then it's going to take into account what our average percent gain is and average percent loss. So like I said, if we're getting lower gains, we definitely need to cut down our stops and start tightening them way up. And lastly, it takes all of these and it updates our updated balance, whatever that is, tells us what percentage we're up and the total percentage in dollars terms. So obviously this log is not perfect, but it is absolutely free for y'all to copy and to add on things yourself. If you come up with some cool things to add or different ways to do things, just let me know in the comments. But I hope you guys get some value from this and I'll see y'all next time.